Music by D-U-D-E. D-U-D-E. Speak black to me. Speak black to me, a dynamic space of black discourse where we engage in the process of elevating and transforming the mind. Speak Black to me is a space where we come together to transform and transcend our given condition to be and to become a more powerful. Speak Black to me. The liberated zone of intellect, of insight and inspiration is called Speak Black to me. Blacknificence. Blacknificence at its finest. Speak Black to me is about being a Blacknificent, elevating consciousness, transcending the condition of our oppression, reveling in the beauty of who we are as a people, becoming whole, becoming healthy, and becoming more involved in being divine. Speak black to me, guided discourse in being and becoming sacred and divine. It is intriguing how a people can sit around and engage in conversation about their own degradation. To have a conversation about being less than human. To converse and to convene around being something that's really nothing. To talk about being a nigga. When if we really examine it closely, If they had never been enslavement, would niggas even exist? But somehow we identify with the label of nigga, and we simply say that nigga is the way we say it, but nigger is what they say. Well, nigger is a derogatory form of the word negro, and negro comes from the word negra, negra meaning black in Spanish, and negra comes from Portuguese, necro meaning death. And what do niggas do? If kings build kingdoms, then niggas got to build niggadoms. And all we end up with is a place of desolation. But we are the only population that engages in the process of utilizing demoralizing terminology to describe the highest form of our interactions. We can have niggas. We can have bitches. We can have hoes, but we can't have gods and humans and brothers and sisters. But we honor our dehumanization. But would niggas exist if they'd never been enslavement? See, the function of enslavement was to create someone not to be human, but to be subhuman. And what happens to a people when they begin to buy into their own dehumanization? How do they live? What do they produce? What do they do? How do they procreate? Well, they continue to be the product of somebody else's reality. That their own innate genius becomes utilized by the one they created the term in the first place. So you have niggas being controlled by the one who owns the niggas. You have boys. You have infantile discourse of boys in cribs. And you have grown men going to cribs when in reality babies reside in cribs. We have boys talking about my nigga, my dog. By default then, if he called his brother a dog, he called his mother a bitch. And we reside in this space of dehumanization and expect to have elevation. It's not possible. But when we recognize who we really are, speak black to me, then we are able to ascend to our highest form. Others understand the genius that's within us. We produce the greatest products known to man. We produce the crossover dribble. We produce the one-handed catching football. We produce the most prolific sound in music. We have produced the greatest scientific inventions from antiquity to the present. Charting the stars and also charting the pathways to get to the moon. And yet we reside in a space of intellectual demoralization called the nigga. 
The wake up call is here. The time is now. Why do we live as niggas? Is it a part of conditioning? If we really realize that we are sacred and divine, harvesting our genius for ourselves, then we will then profit from that genius. What space do you know that people of African ancestry actually benefit from their genius, from their scientific endeavors, from the resources that come from the land, from the music that they create? All that's produced, manufactured, and someone else benefits from it while we live in perpetual poverty. Speak black to me. The greatest export that we have as a country in the United States of America is rap and hip-hop music, and yet we don't have a population benefiting from that economically, a whole community built on the genius that they create, and yet that's what humans do. I'm quite sure that the Gates family and Jobs family have benefited from the international endeavors of those men, and yet... We've created the phone technology, Samson, the internet technology, and no community is thriving from it of African ancestry. Speak black to me.